Good morning and welcome back to Market Master. If you're new here, I'm Roland Attenborough. I'm the leading GAN scientific and analytical researcher. I'm a self-taught coder and programmer and I own every single book and course of William GAN and I have coded all his work. This is my forecast based on the work that we do. Let's talk about September all the way right up to the 21st. Here we are, let's begin. September 1st. The price here was stating that we were between 109, 106 and a, a low of 107 and a close of 108. Our forecast called for the first, a low at 107, it's gotta hold and establish this base. This base has to hold. If it does not hold, we will not have the bounce onto the second. And the second we called between 110 and 112 with a test of our 13.2. Let's go have a look at the second. There's the second. It stated very clearly that we were 108, 111 to a low of 108 and a close of 110. So basically, we were pretty much dead on again, okay? It didn't quite make that 13.2, but we were real close. Let's go. September 3rd, it's a retest on the low between 108 and 110. So my guidance was to guard your stops. And if it's greater than 107, it's bullish. All right, well, let's go have a look at what he said. Okay, right? That's what he said, right? 108 to 110. There we are. There's the 3rd of September. Bringing this into view. 112, 109 for a low, and a close of 111. Well, looks like uh, that's still on, on track. Let's go to the 4th. The 4th, it said it was going to consolidate between 109 and 11, and we were stating for guidance it would be a narrow range most likely. Let's go have a look at the fourth. There's the fourth. I believe that's the fourth right there. That's the fifth. There's the fourth right here inside trading day. 112, low of 109, closed 110. All right? Consolidate. Let's go to the fifth. September 5th was a breakout attempt. We were talking about a 112, 113. And to watch the close above 113.2 for September 5th. Let's go take a look at September 5th. Okay, September 5th is here. And we had a high of 113.3, low 110, and a close right in here at 111. So the 5th on our breakout attempt did in fact hit exactly where we are stating again. Remember, I do all these forecasts way ahead. September 6th, we're going to retest the lid at 112, 113. If there's a bunch of weakness, we will slip down to 110. Let's go have a look at September 6th and just see if we're going to do a retest of the lid and going to show some weakness. September 6th. High of 111.13, a low of 109, and a close of 110. Okay, so that's for the 6. We're going to retest this, 112, 113. So if we slip below the 110, it would show weakness. Did we show weakness? We closed at 110. So we did not show weakness. We went to a low of 109.9, which is our 110. So, looks pretty good so far. Let's keep moving on, guys. Come on. Number 7. September 7th is a coil. We have a 110, 112 with the weekend hold. Is that correct? Let's go have a look. September 7th. Looks like it's an inside move here with a weekend hold. Let's go have a look at what it says. It says that it was... 111.5, a low of 110, and a close at 110. Well, it sure seems like uh, 
Our September 7th is still holding good. Let's go have a look at September 8th now. Sorry this is going to take a while, but i got to prove to you all the things that I do. The work we do is super powerful. And I'm speaking to you through the channel, and I'm channeling William Gann. He would have been a coder, programmer, just as I am. Probably better than me. September 8th, push higher. Let's have a look. 112, 114, this is the sign of a first breakout. Is that true? Let's go have a look at our next day, right? There we are. That's our date, right? We're going to push higher, right? Well, let's go have a look. It hide out at 112.9. Had a low of 110 and a close of 111.6. All right, so again, let's recap that again. So 112, 113 for a push higher in a first breakout. Well, we didn't quite make 113, okay? We did 112.9, okay? Just showing you there. Sorry, I'm kind of shaky. I'm trying to get through this kind of as quick as I can now. Uh, the ninth, volatile test, 113, 114. Our guidance is, if it holds, the next is 115. Is that true? Well, this date we opened up on September 9th, 113.2, load 110 with a close at 111.9. Well, what do you think, guys? Is that what we just said on the 9th? Isn't that what was going to happen? Okay. Let's move on now because it's looking pretty good. September 10th, it's saying the energy builds. It's 111 to 114. And our guidance says key midweek pivot. Well, let's go have a look at September 10th. Is there going to be a pivot? September 10th. Oh, looks like it moved up there. Look at that big wick up. Okay, let's go record it. 114.3, Oh, boy. Right? Okay, September 11th, let's go have a look at that. 115 to 115, it's a sideways. This is our 50% retracement test. Let's go have a look at the 11th of September. 11th of September, boom. We had this big wick up. Let's go have a look at what it says. 115.4, low of 112 and a close of 114. So it seems like... We are exactly right on because we called for a 115, you know, 0.2 to a 0.6. And we actually made, you know, 115.47. Okay, next, uh, we're doing September 12th. This is reaction day with a 114, 117. And our guidance is if there's a rejection, it's back to 112. And if we get a break, uh, that'll equal 118. Okay, so let's move over again. To the 12th, let's have a look. September 12th, I got my cursor on there. Let's go have a look at what it says. Hi, 116.6, 113.3, and a 115 low. Oh, okay, so 12, we were between the 114 and 117, and just basically uh, hide out at 116.6 and made a low of 113. So basically I'm stating that we are still, right, perfect. Okay, let's move on again. Just doesn't matter. September 13th, let's have a look at that. We were calling for this 114, 115, and the guidance was weekend chop. Was it weekend chop? September 13th, here we are. Sideways, we got some weekend chop. Doesn't that look like it? Sure does to me. 116. Point two one fourteen five with a one fifteen close. What were we saying in this area? One fourteen to one fifteen. Perfect. Let's move on to September fourteenth. This is a hold pattern with a one fourteen one fifteen. Is that true? Well, it looks like it did. It did. It came in and this right. There's our fourteenth. Let's go take a look. Right one sixteen two one fifteen with a one fifteen. Well, it sure looks like that was holding in there. Okay. Let's go take a look now at uh, the 15th now. The 15th is September 15th, 116 to 117. And our guidance says 
If we clear this, this equals a bullish run. We fail, that's a pullback. All right, let's go have a look at what that says on the 15th. Well, September 15th, we have this long tail wick here with a shooting star. We had 116.7 with a 114 and a 115 close. So 116.7 to the 114 on that day. So we were looking for it to have a bit more of a pullback, but it did get a little bit higher. Uh, sorry, it did not actually. It was exactly in the 115 area and 116.7. So it did come in just below our 117. So that was a clear signal. Something was was happening. We're going to have some follow through. Okay, let's move on. September 16th is follow through. 114 to 118. The trend confirms. Is that true? September 16th, there's our wick. Let's go have a look at the data. 116.9 with a 114. Oh, okay. Well, look at that. A 114 to 160. Well, we're pretty much inside this trend confirmation. So let's go have a look now at the 17th of September. We're calling that, well, it was probably going to be a minor top around that 117, 118. And we would be looking to lock our partial gains. Is that true? Let's go have a look at the 17th. There again, there's the 17th. There we are. I'm going to move this so you can see we wicked up in here. Let's go have a look here. 117.2 to 114. Well, sure looks like uh, the 17th. Uh, we called that again. Okay, the 18th. It was it was clear we would we could see a pullback here after reaching these tops. So on the 18th, and we are staying to guard your stops. Well, let's go have a look why. September 18th, I'm just going to move the thing. Oh, look at it. it, made a top just like we are stating in here. And this topping pattern made a 117.8 with a 115.9. All right. So we were stating now on this 18th, we could see a pullback. This extended up to our 117 and 118 before reversing. So it held one extra day here, you know. The market does that. Let's move on to the 19th because the 19th is where we get the bounce. So September 19th, the bounce, and we're stating the range would be within a 115, 116, and our guidance was <laughs> this is in a range trade. Let's go have a look. There we are, 19th. Look at that big red wick. I'd say that something's going on there. Let's see, 117.4. Wick down to a low of 115. Well, sure looks like uh, sure looks like our move back down into this area, into this range, was true. Let's go look at the 20th where we get chopped 114 to 116, and our guidance was the weekend is going to be quiet. Is that true? Let's go over here and move over. 20th. There's our wick. Ooh, it's looking a little quiet on the weekend here, Saturday and Sunday. So let's have a look at what it says. It says, well, 116.3 to a 115.4. Okay, so on the 20th, we were stating it would be in this range. It sure looks like it did that. Okay. September 21st, here's our setup. We were looking for a 115. This is the pre-move coil. Pay attention to our work. William is screaming. September 21st, coming up on the solstice point. Very important for markets. Let's go take a look at the data. It's stating 116 to 115. Sorry, I'm shaking there. And a 115 close. Oh, all right, let's go take a look now. Well, it's saying right here that, you know, uh, 115 is this pre-weekend coil. All right. So, there's 14 minutes, guys, of pure guidance. And $360 for a month will get you a forecast, and you'll be able to trade it. Let's go move forward. So, in my forecast, I provide you with guidance and objectives. So, first of all, use this as a mechanical map. 
and don't chase the market around. Use the stuff that we're talking about. Our core pivots are that 115.6, the midpoint, that's a 50% level, and that's a that's a very big deflection or buying level. You read about that with William. He talks about that all the time. Above 117, we have a bias for a possible 120 and plus. We get below this 110, there's a correction towards 103 to 100. Now, September is about to close strong and sets the stage for October. And I've covered up the rest of this because there's a bunch of sensitive material in here because uh, I obviously have clients that have paid for this and they would not be very happy with me if I just gave the golden goose away till the end of the month, right? So that you could get a free look at what we're doing. Anyways, guys, peace and love. Hit me up. I love to you all.